Did you put your home search on hold because of challenges in the market? Are there better opportunities now for home buyers? Is it possible that 2024 is shaping up to be a better year for home buyers? This is Dia Irby with this week's market update, discussing home buyer opportunities in 2024. There's no arguing 2024 so far has been difficult for home buyers. And if you're someone who has started the process of searching for a home, maybe you put your search on hold because the challenges in today's market felt like too much to tackle. You're not alone in that. A bright MLS study found some of the top reasons buyers pause their search in the late 2023 and early 2024. You couldn't find anything in your price range or you didn't have any successful offers or had difficulty competing, or you couldn't find the right home. If any of these sound like why you stopped looking, here's what you need to know. The housing market is in a transition in the second half of 2024. Here are four reasons why this may be your chance to jump back in. Number one, the supply of homes for sale is growing. One of the most significant shifts in the market this year is how the month's supply of homes for sale has increased. Month supply means how many months will it take for all the houses to go under contract. If you look at the data from the National Association of Realtors, NAR, you'll see how inventory has grown throughout 2024. This graph shows the month's supply of existing homes homes that were previously lived in by another homeowner. The upward trend this year is clear. This increase means you have a better chance of finding a home that suits your needs and preferences. And if the biggest reason you put off your home search was difficulty finding the right home, this is a big relief. Two, there's more new construction. And if you still don't see an existing home you like, another big opportunity lies in the rise of new home construction. Builders have worked to increase the supply of newly built homes this year, and they've turned their attention to crafting smaller, more affordable homes based on what's most needed in today's market. This helps address the long-standing issue of housing undersupply throughout the country, and those smaller homes also offset some of the affordability challenges you're feeling today. According to data from the Census and NAR, one in three homes on the market is a newly built home. This means that if you didn't previously look at newly built homes as part of your search, you may have been cutting your pool of options by a third. Not to mention, some builders are also offering incentives like buying down mortgage rates to make it easier for buyers to get a home that fits their budget. So consider talking to your agent, oh, that's me, about what builders have to offer in your area. My expertise on builder reputations, contracts, and more will help you weigh your options. Three, less buyer competition. Mortgage rates are still around 7%, so buyer demand isn't as fierce as it once was. And when you combine that with more housing supply, you have a better chance of avoiding an intense bidding war. Danielle Hale, Chief Economist at Realtor.com highlights a positive trend for the latter half of 2024 saying, and I quote, home shoppers who persist could see better conditions in the second half of the year, which tends to be somewhat less competitive seasonally and might be even more so since inventory is likely to reach five year high, end quote. This creates a unique opportunity for you to find a home you want to buy with less stress and at a potentially better price. And lastly, four, home prices are moderating. Speaking of prices, home prices are also showing signs of moderation, and that's a welcome shift after the rapid appreciation seen in recent years. This moderation is mostly due to supply and demand. Supply is growing and demand is easing, so prices aren't rising as fast. But make no mistake, that doesn't mean prices are falling. They're just at rising at a more normal pace. You can see this in the graph. The bars are still showing prices increasing, just not as dramatic as it was before. The average forecast for home price appreciation in 2024 is a positive growth around 3% to 5%, which is more in line with historical norms. That moderation means that you're less likely to face the steep price increases we saw a few years ago. What is the opportunity in front of you? 
If you're ready and able to buy, you may find that the second half of 2024 is a bit easier to navigate. There are still challenges, but some of the biggest hurdles you face are getting better as time wears on. On the other hand, you could choose to wait. Hmm. But if you do, here's the risk you run. As more buyers recognize the shift in the market, competition will grow again. On a similar note, if mortgage rates do come down, as forecasts say, more buyers will flood back into the market. So making a move now helps you take advantage of the current market conditions and get ahead of those other buyers. Bottom line, if you put your dream of home ownership on hold, the second half of 2024 may be your opportunity to jump back in. Let's connect to talk more about the opportunities you have in today's market. I'm here to help answer your questions and guide you on your real estate journey. Until next time, stay informed and stay positive. This is Dia Irby, your favorite realtor, by your side all the way. Bye now.